When it comes to detecting and monitoring earthquakes, the world's largest seismic network now fits in your pocket. Citizens around the world now have the opportunity to be part of one of the newest scientific developments in earthquake research using only their smartphones. Since its launch in February 2016, the University of California Berkeley's MyShake app has garnered close to 250,000 downloads. The app harnesses accelerometers that are automatically part of most modern smartphones. Most mobile devices can provide a 95% rate of accuracy in detecting an earthquake over the noise of everyday movements in the device. In fact, Berkeley Seismological Laboratory Director Richard Allen says it's shockingly accurate. When the earthquake strikes, the accelerometer in the phone will record the ground shaking, send that data to our system. We can use that data to understand the physics of the process beneath us, how the buildings around us respond to these earthquakes, and we will have more data than we have from the traditional seismic networks. Smartphones can record waveforms related to earthquakes of 2.5 magnitude, which would often go unnoticed by an individual. So far, the app has already made great strides in collecting earthquake data from across the world. Up until now, earthquake monitoring was done by networks of hundreds of static seismograms. And if the network keeps growing, it can continue to pick up smaller and smaller earthquakes in perhaps more remote areas, helping us to understand the seismicity of different areas in greater detail. The long-term objective of the project is not only to gather seismic data for research, but also to provide better hazard warnings to the public. At the moment, the app sends out a notification to users only after the earthquake occurs. But the goal for the future is for the detection system to send out a notification to people located away from the epicenter before the shaking reaches them. The use of smartphone seismometers has already proved useful to the researchers who are just beginning to scratch the surface of the data they've collected. Perhaps the only catch so far, the app is currently only available for smartphones using an Android operating system. But stay tuned for an iPhone version by the spring of 2017. And now, you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet. I'll try to get it answered.